Hayne and Lamb guide Bears to draw. Warwickshire pair Sam Hayne and Matt Lamb put on a dominant and defiant display to all but dash Northamptonshire's hopes of victory at Edgebaston. The Bears had finished the day on 394 for four, 306 added for the loss of just two third-day wickets, and only 53 more needed to avoid the follow-on. Lamb had finished the day three runs short of a half century, and his hard work brought the just reward of a 50 early on day four. The single that got him there also took the hosts beyond 400. Hayne already had 100 in his back pocket, but was already looking for more, and went to a 150 when he pushed Kelly into the offside. A deserved reward, his side now almost certain to avoid defeat. He'd be the man to take away the chance of the follow-on down the wicket to Kerrigan. The ball dispatched over his head, and with it went Northamptonshire's faint hopes of forcing the win. They had a bit of freedom now, not quite out of the woods yet, but the pair were full of confidence. Up to 450 before the break, and their stand was now worth 150. When they reached lunch, Warwickshire were now just 144 behind, and Lamb was two away from three figures. He avoided the fate of Rob Yates, 100 up with two off Gareth Berg. His century scored off 163 balls. Warwickshire now on the cusp of 500, which Lamb then took them to a few overs later. A single enough, Warwickshire now less than 100 runs behind. Payne was now hunting a double ton, but he would be forced to wait. Bad light and bad weather halted his progress. Tea taken under leaden skies. And there would be time for him to strive for that 200, a delayed restart finally coming as rain threatened to wash away the day. Hayne was patient, slowly inching his way to the mark, and then moving from 199 to his double hundred with a single off gay. Eight more, and he'd equal his career best return to date. It was soon Lamb's turn to raise the bat though, up to 150 from 228 balls with a single off Rob Keogh. Even more frustration for the hosts. And a couple of balls later, with both sides going through the motions, they shook hands. Spoils shared, over 1,100 runs scored over four days, with just two innings possible. Northamptonshire had made batting look easy, and then Warwickshire had gone and done exactly the same thing. Both sides will take plenty of bonus points from the game, but the visitors had missed out on their first win of the season. They'll hope that comes next week against the only other winless side in Division 1, Kent, back at the county ground in Northampton, while Warwickshire head to Clean Slate Headingley to take on Yorkshire.